Your nose is growing longer, Pinocchio. Hello, I want to thank Mars, and this is inevitable. Uh, first of all, before I get started with this moron, Chris Matthews, I want to extend my sincere appreciation and congratulations to President Donald J. Trump. Thank you so much. You really, you uh, look like you're going to be great as a president. And yes, you'll make mistakes, I didn't realize that. But thank you anyway, from the bottom of my heart. Now, as for Chris Matthews, MSNBC's Chris Matthews, who is a consummate liar, so Friday that President Trump's inaugural address was both Hitlerian and meant to mimic Russian President Vladimir Putin. I'm only going to deal with the Hitlerian part because that's just a bald-faced lie. Uh, this is, you know, a compulsive liar. He's completely demented as far as I'm concerned. He said, today, America first, uh, it was not just racial. I mean... I shouldn't say racial Hitler and background to it, but it was a message I kept thinking, Matthew said. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Matthews, we're made up of a bunch of different peoples, including blacks. Hitler was trying to ma uh, maintain what he called the master race. In other words, these uh, Nordic blonde-haired, blue-eyed types. United States is a totally different situation. When he's saying America first, he's including blacks and Chinese at Chinatown and Revan, whatever. You get the idea. Matthew's remark, image, Trump's remarks, sparking worries for the United Kingdom. Prime Minister Theresa May, who's a communist, about two countries' special relationship. What is it, Theresa May? What is Theresa May thinking this morning when she picks up papers and goes, My God, what did he just say? He said America first. What happened to the special relationship? Nothing. Nothing happened to it. We're just saying, we're going to look out for ourselves first. Matthews, the former speechwriter for President Jimmy Carter, then he wrote Putin. Well, if you're Putin, you're going to probably be pounding the table saying, that's what I've been saying, Russia first, Russia first. <sighs> Need I go on? Let's take a look at the... Uh, one of Hitler's first speeches. I'm not going to go through all this, obviously. Here's how it starts out. Ladies and gentlemen of the German Reichstag, by agreement with the Reich government, today the National Socialist German Workers' Party and National People's Party have presented to you a resolution for a notice of motion concerning a law for removing the distress of Vulcan Reich. Reason for this is an extraordinary measure is as follows. November 1918, Marxist organization seized executive power by means of revolution. Same thing that the communists in this country are trying to do, incidentally. Monarchs were dethroned, the authorities of Reich and Lander were removed from office, then breach of the Constitution was committed. And it goes on and on. But notice, uh, he's talking about the party. He's not talking about people at all. Now, let's see if I can find it.
here's an interesting line. I'm looking for the line where uh, Hitler said they want to consolidate the power of the federal government. This solution permeates, permeates all the basic principles of social order, completely opposite approaches of individuals to the concepts of state, religion, society, rally, family, and economy. Rips, rips open differences, which leads to a war against all, all. Starting with liberalism of the past century, this development will end as the laws of nature dictate in communist chaos. <sighs> I wish I would have heard, you know, that. Because that's what we have going on in this country. Uh, Trump doesn't talk about the communists in our society. Somewhere in here, let's see if we can find this. If I can, I can't. Uh, a number of Germans who inwardly supported the Weimar Constitution, part of the suggested significance and ruthless exploitation of the executive power, dwindled as to me. And then to a mere fraction of the entire nation. The National Socialist Movement was thus able, in spite of horrible op oppression, to convert an increasing number of Germans in terms of spirit and will, will to defensive action. Now, in association with other national leagues, it has eliminated the powers which have been ruling since November 1918. In a few weeks, and by means of a re revolution, transferred public authority to the hands of the national government. You know, read that again. By means of revolution, transferred public authority to the hands of the national government. On March 5, the German Volk gave this approval to this action. You see, these were hardcore leftists, just of a different type than the communists. There's not that much difference. Hitler consolidated government pow power. Donald Trump took me by surprise because he's sitting there talking about drastically reducing the size of the government, and I'm going, what on earth? Not that it doesn't please me, it does, but I never expected to hear that. It's uh, sounding better to me than I ever really expected, to be honest with you. We'll have to wait and see, but I loved what I was hearing. Anything to reduce the size of government, see, the bigger a government gets, the more oppressive it gets. It's just the way it is. You're not going to get away from it at all. You'll, uh... Big government is oppressive. That's the way it is. It doesn't help you out. It hinders you. Anyway, Chris Matthews is a liar. He's out of his mind. Well, what do you expect out of the media? The lamestream media. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.